as Lucas gets medical attention. Tiama with the rollout. Flag on the play. He'll throw on the run down the sideline. And LaDamian Washington just got lit. That'll bring a flag. A.J. Hendry laid a lick on LaDamian. The hold, which has already been called. How about this unnecessary roughness? You've been hit like that before. I have been hit by like that before. It's shoulder to shoulder. I understand. Something that uh, L.A. kind of ran last week, and we liked it, so we put it in. Well done. Great drive. Hey. All right, and so that's how they get the 6-0 lead and another big hit, this time on special teams. Jaquee Smith laying the woods, the former Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Woo! <laughs> tell you what, man. This Seattle team, they have come to life. Second half last week, defensively, the crowd noise. Check this out right here. Just right in his chest. Bam. Wraps him up perfectly. Yeah, that's Durant Miles, actually. Saturday, Saturday. Or here's that. What an incredible catch. I mean, no one you're going to get hit. The ball's in the air forever. You stay with it, and you're a running back. I mean, just an incredible job there by Smith on the wheel route downfield, and what a throw. So unnecessary roughness from Quentin Flowers. 25 defense. Okay. Okay. The result of the play is the catch. After the catch, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 25 of the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Silvers. Running. Flies down as well as he takes a big hit along the sideline. And that one will be coming back. They closed it in fashion. Good fashion. Larry Rose hitting the backfield. Kenny Bigelow with the big hit. Silvers. Broken up. Evan Rodriguez, his tight end, had it for half a second, but there was Greer Martini to blow that play up. Check out Greer Martini. He's going to sink back, and then he's going to come up in coverage. Great job reading the eyes of the quarterback. Terrific zone technique. He sees where they're going with the ball. It's thrown accurately, but he is on time for the play. And Greer Martini, one of the smartest players they've got on defense. One play was all they needed to go 84 for the touchdown. And the throw, and the two Viper defenders collided. Looks like either one of them could have made the interception. Hanneman and Branch, the nickel and the free safety collide. Man, they could have potentially gone with an illegal use of the helmet on the friendly fire there. I mean, you see those two guys trying to converge on the football. Almost had an interception, but a pretty violent collision there. Between Fulker to center is also mark, uh, Mike Tiamu pressured. They clipped that off, and Tiamu lost the football on his way down. Scooped up by New York, but it's whistled dead. Anthony Tejada, who was just flagged a moment ago, forced it out. Really on the field, the runner was down by a con. Football. It's second down. 
Just makes Bruce that much more effective. Johnson has time. Caught. Big hit afterwards, and Trey McBride is still down. Yeah, he took a good shot there. Shot from Jamarco Thomas. And now they threw a late flag. to see him hide, yeah, still a little bit woozy as he goes over the sideline. The ruling on the field is the fleeting catch. The previous play is under further review. And like replay officials are taking a look at this. Yeah, I, I think he hit him in the back. I agree with you. I don't think there should be a, a foul. If they're looking at it for either a late hit or uh, hitting a defenseless player, it doesn't look like it on that replay. I couldn't tell on that second angle. On the first angle, it looks like he hit him in the back. On that, oh, angle, he might have. I think yeah. he caught him in the back of the helmet. Yeah, yep. I think. Yeah, I think that was pretty clear. This right. angle here, I think he catches him right in the back of the head. Yeah, yeah he catches him in the side of that. See if we've got anything dialed up for these two. All right, Austin Walker gets it started for Dallas, and he's rocked right at the 30-yard line. And so that's where we will get our first look at. Dallas, led by Landry Jones, and you mentioned 300 yards passing, particularly balance within the offense, and he's displayed accuracy, that's for sure. Uh, P.J. Walker's turn. That's Britain on the money. Who else but Cam Phillips? We got a ball game here today, and the, the conversions after touchdowns have really come into play. Trish left, right? 32 down. An ankle issue and is not on the field. So on second and long, Silvers underneath. Paul hit right away. Made the catch, but a big hit from Deron Smith. And Brock, this is not the identity of this offense. They're not a big chunk team. They want really badly to run the football, stay with the chains, and you see the defense for Deron Smith there, right there. He just flew up, almost knowing that yeah. that was going to be a short pass. Yeah, you mentioned that. Deep ball, caught, and a big hit put on Colby Pearson. Came from Kenny Robinson. 63 diner. Let's go. About half left. 63 diner. 20, 52 seconds left in the half. 63.85. Outside all day. I grew up in the area where they put a basketball goal in the street, and everybody in the neighborhood just hooped. But uh, at one point, I wanted to be the best power range ever, so no one else can do it backflip. And Dallas, who scored a touchdown on the last possession, playing with efficiency here to start the second half. Yeah, and getting the backs involved. I think those backs are, are some of their best players. And they're also, Brock, taking advantage of that aggressive de defensive line like you talked about. Seattle getting up the field. Self up in that particular situation. Sounds like uh, Greg and Tom disagree with that. Here's Mobley on the receiving end. Uh, Mark Trespin would, would make the differ as well. Diana. Uh, you're not too happy with that call. Tell me what you. Hey, I'm fine, fine. Right, it goes. Tamu hands it off. Another big physical run for St. Louis from Chris and Michael out of Texas A&M. And a big first down. To now it'll allow them to run more of this clock. New York gets this ball back, coming out of the locker room. If St. Louis can get this ball in the end zone, not giving New York's offense a chance to get back on the field and get points. He came into our meeting last night. And He's still our colleague. You know something we don't? Or that he doesn't? Our colleague at Fox. <laughs> Just seeing him in this capacity, right? Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Here's John Santiago. Lowers his head. There's flags coming out. And Santiago may get called on that one. Helmet to helmet hit. It should. If there's a call here for illegal use of the helmet, it should go against Santiago. Because the de defender is just in a tackle posture, and Santiago goes in and lowers his head for contact. Holding. Return team. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. 
first down. No, they decide to call holding anyway. So if they're trying to get see that right there, I mean, and right to the head of the defender. That's that's certainly looking down the sideline caught and a first down Brandon Riley flex shot of Riley Jones little screen pass Dunbar went airborne and kind of ran in the back of one of his Play finishing inbounds. Pressure coming from the edge. McGloin intercepted. What a grab by Kenny Robinson. And the 21 year old out of West Virginia has a takeaway. His first is a pro and an extra tackle on the sideline. Robinson celebrates while fisticuffs occur on the Guardian sideline. Mikhail McKay. Absolutely trucked. Robinson ineligible at West Virginia this year. Instead of playing for the Mountaineers, he's playing in the XFL. He's got his first pro pick.